Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today I'm going to talk about becoming more accepting of others. You know, when we seek to find true happiness, more often than not, the obstacles to that goal lie within ourselves in here right? Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that mic. So our attitudes become our roadblocks, keeping us from fully enjoying the experiences that are waiting for us. And the biggest culprit, the way we treat our, those people around us. So think about that person in your life who drives you absolutely crazy. You know, whether it's a coworker or an acquaintance or, um, or a family member, there's nothing worse than having to deal with someone who gets under your skin, right? The problem is you can't change the people around you. So if you think you can, you got a problem <laughs> because you can, on the other hand, change you. You're the only person you can change is you. So by learning to accept people for who they are, you'll find your interactions with these people will become much easier and you'll be more easygoing and you'll be less likely to get bent out of shape. In short, you'll become happier and you'll experience far less stress. Sound too easy? Actually, it really is. I mean, just start. I have, I have three steps for accepting the people who, for who they are, right? Recognize everyone is unique. When you feel secure in how we're living our lives, it's natural to think others should do as we do. For example, if you went to college and you got a degree and then you got a job, you might expect your children to follow in the same path. But the truth is not everyone's path is going to look like yours. Your child may not be suited to college, or maybe they have other ambitions after high school. Does this make them wrong? Actually, when we recognize that everyone is unique and has their own path to follow, it becomes so much easier to accept them for who they are. Also, it's okay to disagree. You know, sometimes we see someone we love making choices that we're not comfortable with. Hi, Erica. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. So going back to the college example, maybe we're worried that if our child takes a year off to travel to find themselves, that maybe they'll never go back to school. Or when the person you disagree with is an adult and they're not doing something to, that's going to really physically harm themselves or someone else, then it becomes time to back off, right? I mean, you know, rather than feeling threatened or disappointed in their choices, ask yourself what you might be able to learn from them. Their unique point of view is something to celebrate. I mean, after all, if we were all made out, if we all made the same decisions all the time, things would be pretty dull, right? So what about you? I mean, in the end, if you're caught up in how other people are living their lives, you're focusing your attention in the wrong place. The only person you can actually change is you. So stop worrying about what everyone else is doing and start paying attention to different choices you could make that would create more joy in your life. And so with this in mind, you'll find it easier to accept the people around you. And by becoming more accepting of others, we reframe our thoughts as well as our feelings. We learn to let go of negative attitudes and dissatisfaction in our personal interactions. And we start to enjoy the process of meeting new people. We become happier just by making that one little change. And so, but, but then what if it's not just that one person, right? What if you find yourself not being very accepting in general, or, or maybe you have times in your life. We're not all like that. I mean, we all have times in our lives where maybe we might be judgmental or not accepting, but it doesn't mean we're like that all the time, right? So, but I do have a couple more thoughts about that to help you to be more accepting. So the first one there is guard your thoughts. So acceptance begins with the thoughts that are going through your head right here, right? So when you look at someone else, what's your first thought? Are you immediately judgmental? It might be time to examine some of those messages and ask yourself where they're coming from. Are you reflecting on what you've heard from someone else or from the media? I mean, remind yourself that it's up to you to develop your own thought patterns and guide yourself over to a more judgmental types of thoughts. Learn to look on the bright side. Seeing only negative in the people around you? Find something positive to focus on instead. Ask yourself, what do you like about this person? Because they're so much more than just the things you don't, right? Find their good traits or find something to admire. Soon that will become a habit, leading to more positive outlook whenever you meet someone new. If you work on that, focus on what do you like about that person? Because you know there's things you like, right? Also, avoid black and white thinking. There's a lot more gray areas in the world than you might think. 
You know, rather than insisting that there's a definite right and wrong to a situation, take a step back and ask yourself if this is truly the case. You're going to find out that not everything is so cut and dried. And then here's a big one. Drop the perfectionism. So, you know, sometimes we're just so hard on ourselves, right? Frequently, we expect a lot from ourselves. And then when we do that, we like we likewise expect a lot from the people around us because it starts with us. We, we're so hard on ourselves, but that kind of goes, it, it radiates out to the people around you, right? So learn how to let go of this rigid perfectionist thinking. You know, you don't need to be a perfectionist. You don't need to be perfect. I know a lot of us, I'm, myself included, think we need to be, but we don't. We don't. This leads you to a more acceptance of others, and your life is going to be a lot more enjoyable if you can just let it go and not be so perfectionist, right? Live in the moment. When you get caught up in the past, it's hard to see a person where they are now. You know, maybe they've screwed up in a relationship before, or they've done something else to hurt you. Let it go and move on. I know that's hard sometimes because they've hurt you before and you don't trust them, but you have to for your own good. You have to let it go and move on. So accept people for where they are today. Hi, Georgie. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, put the shoe on the other foot. So how are you judging that other person? Would you like it if someone had that thought about you? If you don't like the answer, then maybe you might want to change your thought process, right? So look, try doing that. Try putting the shoe on the other foot. You know, these are lots of little ideas, but by employing these strategies, you're going to find both your mind and your horizons expand. You'll discover contentment that you didn't even know was possible. Because accepting others, regardless of their differences, makes your life richer and fuller than you've ever imagined. And who knows? Maybe you'll feel a little happier with who you are as well. So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. Do you find yourself sometimes being judgmental and not so accepting of those around you? What, what kinds of things help you to remember to be more loving and accepting? Or maybe it's one specific person who gets on your nerves. What helps you to interact with them more easily? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. Thank you, Erica and Georgie, for being live with me today. And anyone else who might be live who just hasn't commented and anyone who's watching the replay, I appreciate you. So go out there, have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.